Hey, what's up guys, JB here. It's been a minute since I've done a more general team building type guide, so I thought with the Final Fantasy VII collaboration here in Global, maybe some new or returning players have come in. What better time than now? And what I have here on the screen is what I call the Job Vision Card Index. Now, this tool isn't anything new. I'm sure many of you watching this have used it or maybe seen it before, maybe in some other content creators' videos. But if you weren't aware of it, or maybe you have seen it in the past but didn't know how to access it, this is a tool that I created and that I maintain, and I will go ahead and include a link to it in the description below. I wanted to take the opportunity to get the word out on this tool here once again. It's been a very long time since I made a video about it. I initially created this tool back when the Job Vision Card Index system launched in Global, back when we only had maybe a couple of cards at the time. So I'm sure for some of you out there, you know, you may have said, hey, JB, that, that looks pretty cool, but I just don't have any of these cards yet. So, and you didn't really have much use for it at that time. So you just maybe kind of forgot about it. Now, thinking back on that particular video, I did speculate when we as a player base might reach that critical mass, not only with the total number of cards that had been issued into the game, but but in the amount of these cards that the average player has access to and has fully built up. I think for a lot of players, that is something that has been happening here over the last several months, and certainly at the top end of the game, even longer back into last year. So the net result in terms of gameplay in War of the Visions is much less focus on mono elemental play in favor of multi element play, and hence my video here today. Now this tool does have a couple of different components to it. You are able to view the individual cards, look at the units, look at the base stats, of the cards and etc. But I do have the individual job overviews here as well. And that is the part that I have designed as a team building assistant or theory crafting tool. And it's something that I built for my own needs early on when I was trying to make heads or tails of this job vision card system. Because to be honest, the, the team building is a bit more complex, a bit more nuanced than the elemental team building that we had been so used to in the past. So I think if you're somebody out there that has been trying to make sense of these cards and trying to put these teams together in a more optimized way, I do think that this tool is something that can really help you out in that area. Now, one of my biggest complaints with this vision card system when it initially launched was that within the game client, there just wasn't really any good visibility or filtering options that you could kind of sort out and, and see which cards were applicable for your team. And overall, that experience was very lackluster. Thankfully, that is something that the developers did address for, as a quality of life some time ago. It's not perfect, but it's much better than when the system did first launch. They added in weapon icons to the character portraits to sort of differentiate them from one another. They did also add a bevy of filtering options as well so you could better take advantage and, and look at which cards were applicable to which units. Now personally, even despite those additions, I have felt that I needed a little bit more, you know, especially when it comes to mixing multiple job types together. So I think that is where my tool can come in and I think can be a big visual help. Now this landing page that we're looking at here right now, this is really just the index portion. Here I have all the job cards that have been issued in our game thus far, and even a few cards that we are anticipating from the Japanese side, who is roughly one month ahead of us in the schedule today. Now, all of these card portraits are hyperlinked so that you are able to drill into them and look at and view the individual card details, their stats and attributes. And this is a view that I think that a lot of you should be familiar with from my various character reviews, if there is a vision card tied into that character that I'm looking at. And that is kind of where this whole project started initially way back when. Now, the other thing that you'll notice here on the index page page is a list of all the actual weapon types there on the right side, including their in-game icon that is designated for that group. Now these are also all hyperlinked as well, so you are able to click on those and drill down and browse through them and see a more detailed view of each individual weapon group. So if we go ahead and click on one of these here, let me click on the axe group. Uh, this is what that view looks like. Uh, and this is the view that I have added the most improvements and tweaks to here over time. Now on the left side of this job page, you are able to see sort of a high level executive summary, so to say, of what I consider the building block components for a PVP team in War of the Visions. And that is your unit resistance, area resistance, and agility. How many cards do they have access to within their job vision card set? Now, despite the modern state of the game, you know, severely deprecating the value of some of these defensive staples with some of the 
recent debuffs that have been added in, like those unit and area resist crushes, I still do believe that they remain a foundational party effect for the majority of teams that are being played today. Now directly below that card summary is a list of the key partners for the weapon group. And that is just going to be a quick view of the most common overlapping jobs ordered by the total amount of cards that they do share with those groups. So for example, for the axe group here that we are looking at, we can see that they share five cards with the glove group, four with black mage and spear, and then three here with the fist group. Now, if you haven't actually memorized those individual job icons from the game client just yet, I think that as you sort of use this tool and then start to view them on a more regular basis, it will become sort of a second nature type thing. But you know, if you don't remember them, remember you can always shift your view back over to that right side and they are all listed there for you. So now that you know some of the common partners for the job group, what exactly are those cards that they share? Well, now you can shift your view into the main part of this job summary, and those icons are going to be represented at the top of the individual cards that are included in that view. Now on the placards for those cards, I do list a summary of the party effects that are included there, as well as the hollow effect if it is applicable. And similar to that original index view that we looked at, you are able to click and drill down into these cards, look at those individual stats and attributes if you did want want to. So let's go ahead and click on Fang's card, the most recent one for the group. And then let's say that I saw what I wanted here and I was done with this particular view. I can then either go back to the index view there, the landing page with that arrow button there on the top left, or right below that I can go directly to any of the jobs associated with the card by clicking on that corresponding icon there in the top left. Now, one additional thing that I did want to point out here on the job page, thanks to a suggestion from a friend of mine, Woodstock Wins, I have also tried to give some indication within this view of some of the key primary cards by bolding those placard frames around them to sort of make them stand out a bit easier there as well. So the general idea here is that you can use this view not only to make a mono job team, if you kind of look down there at the bottom, you are able to see all of the units included within this group. They are going to be separated there by rarity and cost. So let's say I wanted to put a group of three axe units together. I have all of the cards, all of the units that I'm able to use to facilitate that team build here in one comprehensive view. But not only that, let's say that I was heavily invested into this axe group. I've been grabbing all of these different vision cards as they've been released. I've been building up my Lucios, my Griffords, my Vegas. Well, based on that key partner summary, I do know that the spear group is one that works very, very well and synergizes with this axe team. They share four different cards with three of them being potentially potential primary slot candidates. So now using that spear link there on the right side, I can drill down into that spear team now and see maybe some potential units that might synergize well with the team that I'm putting together. So I think you can sort of get the idea here of how you can use this tool to potentially theory craft a team around that single job or even that multi-job synergy that we just looked at here with spear. Now in terms of making sense of this whole job card system and sort of bringing everything here together, you can definitely use it, you know, as I've been demonstrating here. But on top of that, I do think that you can use this as sort of a visual aid to help you in other ways, like, like evaluating different vision cards to maybe help you through the selection process of a, a vision card select banner. They are pretty rare here for veterans, but I do know that new or returning players do get some special banners for those. I do think this can also help you in maybe building something from your backlog. You know, maybe you're a veteran that has pulled some of these job cards, but just haven't built them out yet. So by theory crafting these different teams here and knowing what's actually applicable for a team that you want to play with, you can use that to help prioritize hard quests or maybe put various resources into the game like your mog medals or even those uh, monthly medals that we get from logging in. Now, although our look ahead into the JP timeline has been greatly reduced after Road to Worldwide, we still do have that sort of uh, one month of runway that we can look ahead here. And that is why I include all of those cards from the JP side here to sort of help identify, you know, future cards that, uh, you know, may be a priority for any teams that I've been building up or working on. So that's definitely another way that I like to use this tool here as well. Now, just sort of wrapping everything up here, guys, I, I just did want to demonstrate how I personally use this tool, and I hope that it helps you guys out there. It was just something that I sort of designed for myself initially way back when, and I just sort of ran with the idea and decided to share it with the community some time ago. Now, do note that this is just built within Google's Office Suite online. It's, it's not any sort of technical marvel or anything like that. It is also heavily picture-based, so your very first time accessing the tool, there may be quite a bit of uh, initial downloading as it uh, pulls down all those images, you know, it's sort of depending on your internet connection. The images are all static though, so, you know, once your browser has cached all of that information, 
information. It should load faster, you know, as you continue to access the tool more regularly. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this tool. Have you used it before? Do you still use it? Or are you one of those folks in my comments every week asking what the link to this tool is? Also, if you have any ideas out there how I could make this tool better, or maybe you use its existing functionality in a different way than I demonstrated today, definitely let me know about that in the comments as well. And that's really all that I have to say for today. So as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you guys in the next one.